Hello security team. In this video, we will look at Bayata, an open source networking solution. So basically, the Bayata community CD can be downloaded from the link I have provided in the same page. Using this CD, we can actually go ahead and create various networking devices such as a router, firewall, VPN, a web proxy server and many others. So basically the Bayata CD is an all-in-one networking open source product. So in this very first video, we will look at how to get Bayata up and running on your laptop. So I will be using VMware uh, with Bayata even though you can go ahead and install it on any x86 box. So let's start, we will create a new virtual machine and what we have done is we have already downloaded the Vyata Live CD and that is what we point as the installer disk image. Uh, basically we will choose the Linux operating system and choose the 2.6 uh, kernel. Right, let's rename this to Vyata Demo. Uh, though minimum is 2 GB, we'll choose 1 GB because it's just a quick demo. And now let's finish so that VMware automatically boots our virtual machine with the live CD. So basically the idea is to go ahead and boot the Vyata live CD and install it as a router. Very simple basic exercise is what we'll do in this video. So it's booting now. So while it's booting, the idea behind this exercise is that in later videos, we will go ahead and look at how to do router, firewall, uh, VPN, etc. security assessment and hacking using Vyata. Also, we will try and learn various routing protocol basics as well as their security implications once again using multiple instances of Vyata which will be connected to each other. Okay, so we are at the login prompt. The default username password combination is Vyata. Vyata once again. So we are in. So most people who are familiar with routers would know that in order to configure a router, you would have to go ahead and enter into configuration mode. So in Vyata, you can do this by entering configure. Now, the first thing we want to do is set an IP address to the Ethernet interface. So we go ahead set interfaces. We can you know hit a tab to see what are the options available. Then we say Ethernet E0 and then the address and then we say DHCP. Press enter. So another interesting thing about router configurations is that when you create a set command, it is not executed till the time you explicitly commit it. So now we press the commit command. Right, so now if we go ahead exit the configuration mode and try to ping Google, it succeeds. Because now we have an IP address and basically we are connected to the LAN. So we can go ahead look at what our IP address is by doing the show interfaces command. So as you notice, our IP address is 192.168.121.251. Right, and this is the broadcast address. Okay, so I think a lot of these commands might be new to people who haven't worked with routers, firewalls and other embedded devices. Uh, what I would advise you to do is quickly look at the docs at Viata.com and they will make it very clear as to how various configuration modes can be entered, uh, you know, various commands executed and configurations made on this device. So probably I'm just going through very fast, uh, you know, just to make sure that I can cover enough ground in this video without boring you. So please bear with me. 
If you don't understand a couple of things, just go ahead and read the documentation. It's simple enough. Okay, so we once again enter into the configuration mode, and this time let's enable a couple of services, right? Let's enable SSH. Uh, let's go ahead and enable Telnet. Let's enable the web server. And I think let's just commit. So as you notice now, the web server, you know, SSH server, everything is being started, right? So let's exit the configuration mode. And now what we are going to do is go ahead and try to connect to the web interface, which is at 121.251. So let's bring up Mozilla and type in 192.168.121.251. So this is basically the address of the web server, which is running on the router, right? We are explicitly enabled the web server. So we are getting a certificate error simply because, you know, it's, it's a certificate issued simply by the router itself. Uh, because it's a private IP address, let's not worry too much about the security issue for now. Okay, so we are on to the Vyata web GUI. And it asks us for a username and a password which just as in the terminal session was Vyata and Vyata. Oops, yes, I put in the wrong password. Let's try again. Let's log in. So now if you notice, there are two modes. One is the configuration mode and the other is the operation mode. What does this mean? In the configuration mode, you can go ahead and configure uh, various aspects and various functionalities of the Vyata platform. In the operation mode, you can go ahead and look at various operational metrics uh, which are currently on the router and running. So as an example, uh, you know, in configuration, let's just click on interfaces, Ethernet and ETH0 and we'll actually see, you know, a couple of things which you configured, which was DHCP, uh, so on and so forth. So in this mode, if you wanted to, we could actually change the configuration. Uh, Interestingly, if you go to the operation mode, you try out something interesting. Let's click on the show command. Let's click on interfaces, Ethernet, and now let's run it. So if you notice, you basically get an information about the Ethernet interface. Uh, where the running configuration shows the IP address, the link state, etc, etc. So this is how in the operation mode we can get to specific things on the Vyata platform. Uh, click on run and actually see the current active configuration. Right? So there are a lot of things here, you know, I urge you to go ahead and, you know, explore this. Uh, you know, you have system, you have memory, a lot of stuff. It's basically all the operational thing on the Vyata platform, you could go ahead and view from the web interface. So let's now come back to the configuration mode and see if we can do something interesting. So let's change the hardware ID from 38 to 37 that is now it ends with 37 and set it so now if you notice uh, we have a small yellow bell so what has happened is even though we press set actually this is not being currently applied on the router now in order to apply that as we are familiar basically in our terminal session we have to click on commit once commit is entered, now you'll see that now the new configuration is ending with 37. So another point one needs to note is that once you commit, it is currently only in router memory. So when the router reboots, the configuration which you just changed will not be applied. Now if you want to have the router remember the configuration across reboots, then what you need to do is save the configuration. Once you click save, this is actually written to the permanent memory so that on every reboot, the configurations are retained. Right? 
So I guess that's all for this demo. Uh, I would urge you to download Vyata, install it using VMware or you know any other uh, virtualization platform or even on a PC, live PC if you want to. Uh, log on to the web interface, play around with the you know console interface. This will give you a very good understanding of how an embedded system such as a router or a VPN is actually configured and works. In future videos, we will look at how to do security audits and hacking on routers, VPNs, etc. using the Vyata platform. So well, that's all for this video. We'd really appreciate if you can leave a comment behind. Have a great day. Thank you.